In this video, we're going to take a look at the Boolean tool. A Boolean is an operation that allows us to create new geometry based upon the shape of other existing geometry. So we can add, subtract, or intersect multiple pieces of geometry together in order to create something new. I have a cylinder that I've added to my scene here. And ultimately, we're creating just a very simple object here, like a cheese grater. And we need to add holes to the flat part of our grater here. This cylinder is going to allow me to add those holes. But you'll see we can do a couple of other things to it. First, let's go ahead and bring up some of our Boolean tools under Mesh, Booleans. And we're just going to dock that menu here. And I can select both of these and choose a union, which simply merges the pieces together. And you can see it's been cut, and now those geometries are actually connected. Let's undo that. And with them still connected, I'm going to choose Difference. And depending on which object I select, this will subtract one from the other. Now ultimately, that's the one we're going to want to use, but I need to invert my selection order here. And then the last one is just Intersection which gives us the result of those two pieces that are being intersected together. So again, we can get some pretty interesting stuff by using our Boolean. So I'm going to change my selection order and select the grader first, then the cylinder, and I'll choose Difference. And voila, that gives me a nice hole in my geometry. Now what's cool about the Boolean inside of Maya is that we can actually go back in and make modifications to it. So if I were to select in my outliner, P Cylinder 2, I could actually drag this and move that hole to a different part of the model. And my Boolean will update right with it. We can even animate stuff like this. So it's kind of pretty cool. I'm going to undo that just so that we get our post back. I need to duplicate this post so that it fills up all of these faces here, and then I can do my Boolean to create a hole and get that cheese grater effect I'm looking for. So to do this easily, I'm going to turn on my Polygon Face Centers. So I'm going to go to Display, Polygons, and turn on Face Centers. And this will allow me to snap geometry to those centers. I'm going to hold V to snap the point, and just grab the X axis and snap that over. Let's actually undo first and choose Duplicate. But I'm going to choose Duplicate with Transform, and my hotkey there is Shift-D. Now nothing different happened because I don't have any transforms in my channel box, but we're going to add one here by grabbing that single channel, the X, and translating it out. And now we'll hit Shift D. It'll duplicate with that transform and basically, as an additive, continues down my entire model. We're going to do this again. I'm going to select all of them, Control D, which gives me a straight duplicate without looking at that transform, and just move those there. The reason why I did that was because I did have a transform in the X, which means that it would have pushed it forward. So what we need to do is freeze those, and then we'll do a Shift D. That adds that transform, and Shift D again, it will apply that transform in the next duplication. So now I have all of these pieces here. I'm going to select the grader, and then select all of those Boolean objects, and we'll try our difference. And boom, it now adds all of those holes to my object. I would definitely want to delete my history because it will keep those original surfaces there and those transforms, which would then allow me to shift them in the model. Once I'm done, I don't want those, unless, of course, I was going to do some sort of crazy animation with this. I just want a straight model, so I'll delete that history. And now you can see in my outliner, it cleaned up all of that extra geometry and only leaves my original cylinder, which actually is the cheese grater itself. Now, we do have N-Gons in our model. So I would just shuffle back over to the Modeling Toolkit and use our Multi-Cut and have to clean up our geometry. We could also use an automated division if we were to select all of those faces 
and choose triangulate. And we'll just take a look here real quick at what that does. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to give us exactly what we're after because Maya doesn't really know what we want. But if I hit triangulate, it's actually not too bad. We could keep that. What's funny is that I think if we were to take this one step further, we could quadrangulate, which is not going to take our geometry and make it into quads. But what it will do is subtract an edge that will then get us to a quad model. So with these faces selected, we could try it and do mesh quadrangulate and it worked. So it did this face, which is what I was after. And this one here, it just got rid of those. These are better left as triangles because we don't have a good division between there. We could get crazy and put the division over to here, but too much work with very little payoff.